Hello, Mr. Worm. How are you today? Do you mind doing an interview for Dirty Secrets of Scotland? Ah, I don't mind. No bother. How are you doing? No, no, I ask you the questions. How are you doing? Oh, if you're going to be like that, I'm just going to go back underground. Hello, and welcome to Dirty Secrets of Scotland, episode four. So I'm back at the same place that I found the cream pot before, and I'm hoping that I'll find some more good stuff here. Uh, I guess time will tell. Let's get digging. So I dug this hole out the last time. I'm just gonna dig it out again. No point in starting a fresh patch because I just go straight down. I don't have to worry about breaking anything. I can go straight in and start uh, pulling, hopefully, some nice balls out. Let's dig it. <laughs> Interesting thing about this tip is, this is the surface and that's how deep some of the bottles are. I don't know if it's this hole, but often they are right at the top, just like that. Your feet would practically touch that if you were walking around here. You wouldn't even know. First bottle, just a little bulk ink. But it's a size I don't have. I think it's plain. Yeah, just fell out there when I was caving in. I'll come home. Just had this tiny little wee one out here. My partner likes these, she'll probably take that one. This is for Sarah. Just add this out there. Just a little link. Nothing special, but... Quite slow today. Let's hope it picks up. Got a ball here. It's still lodged in. Ah. Nothing exciting. Just a big aqua glass plain bottle. It might clean up nicely though. Scottish weather is very unpredictable, but the woods does come with its own clothes rack. Now a little link here. It's a nice colour. Sheer lip as well. It's in fairly good condition. I hope it's not broken. We'll find out when I clean it up. Got something in here. Oh, it's one of those jars. You get these everywhere. Don't think it's that old. I don't know, maybe 40s or something. But yeah, they're absolutely everywhere. Lunchtime roundup. Big aqua glass bottle, little bowl. That's probably the best find of the day so far. A little sheer lip. Uh, another ink, little jar, little white um, glass jar. And the ink, and that's it. Not too much going on today. Bit of a slow one. Let's see if it picks up. Okay, so it's lunchtime and it's really, really sunny. So I'm glad I brought that umbrella because if not, I'd be cooking right now. The uh, interesting sandwich of the day is uh, corned beef and wild garlic pesto. I'm not going to chomp it down in front of you, don't worry. But I'll give it a rating afterwards out of 10. The saltiness and the fattiness of the beef was complemented perfectly by the lemon juice and also the sharp cutting tone of the wild garlic. The only thing that I think could improve it is possibly just a little bit of homemade mayonnaise. This is interesting, look at that. No S. Neither is, there's one there. Just been digging out there just before I cave it. And uh, Hello! This little popped out aqua glass. Pretty sure this is going to say something. Yeah. Eiffel Tower. Oh no, it's not an Eiffel Tower.
Oh, there's an Eiffel Tower. I'm sure I saw that one. Eh? Eiffel Tower, lemonade, uh, Foster. Can't really read that. Something Maidstone. I've actually got another one of these. That's how I knew it was Eiffel Tower. Um, but yeah, that's a nice wee bottle that'll clean up well. It's just came out as well. Just after that little Eiffel Tower bottle. Aqua glass is the right age. Oh, interesting bottle there. That's great. Nice. Um, seems like I've hit a little seam of small bottles, but they're whole, so I'll keep at it. Kit talk. That's my big rucksack for putting my bottles in. Knee pads. Two litres of water. Gloves, spare gloves. Newspaper for wrapping your bottles in. You don't want to break your own bottles. Uh, here's a root saw. That's a little trowel for digging out. Um, that's a little pad that you can sit on through the edge of your hole so your butt doesn't get wet. That's the probe that I showed you in a previous video. So you can see what's under the ground. That's my little shovel, my little fork. And there's my big umbrella. Uh, so if it rains, I can get underneath it in the hole. I won't get wet. If it's really, really sunny, I don't get sunburnt. And last but not least, a towel for just rubbing down the bottles and getting some of the dirt off before you take them home. Over here, this is what I've got. It's just a little tripod you can use on the ground or you can wrap it around your shovel like I've done here. And then you can video the bits where you're down in the hole digging. All right, there we go. Thin print. Scrubs. Yeah. Scrubs bottle. Normally rib though, this one's plain. Nice. Looks like a ball kink. Yep. There's a print. There's a ball. Plain, they're normally plain. There you go, ball kink number two today. Got a wee ball in here. Just plain, nothing exciting. Different shape though. This is an elder tree, as in elderflower, as in elderflower cordial, which we'll make in the next couple of months. Now, uh, Elder trees tend to grow on ground that has been disturbed, like um, bottle tips. Top tip. Just had this little green ink out, um, which I'll look at in a minute. Looks quite nice. I have some nice colours in there, I hope it will anyway. Anyway, but I was looking, I was actually digging this out and uh, I was underneath it, poking about, trying to free it up a bit, and it's pretty much free. Aha! And it looks like it's whole. Sauce bottle. Yep. Carton's HP sauce in aqua glass. I quite like these bottles. You get green ones as well, I've seen them online, I've never seen one, but I'd like to find one. But yeah, that's cool. Two for one. It's more like it. Oh yeah, I just wanted to say a bit of credit where it's due. So um, most of the stuff I've learned on bottle digging is from a guy called Bottle Digger Tom. He's on YouTube as well. Uh, go and check his channel out. He knows loads more than I do. As I say, I've just started out. I, uh, I only started doing this in the last few months because I found a bottle dump just on my metal detecting permission. But yeah. Credit where it's due, Ball Digger Tom, go and check his channel out, he really knows his stuff. Got a big bottle here. Let's see if it's ready to come out. Yep. And it's all. And it's amber. Oh, and it's got a cork in it. Nice enough bottle. Actually, I've got one from the last time. Now I've got a pair. Let's see if I can get that cork out. Ah, I broke it. That's not been open for a while. Right. Hold on. Oh. 
water. Two balls together, yeah? Fill the roots that one. I think it's plain aqua glass. Oh, uh, it looks like it's cracked as well. So, yeah. It's gonna probably go and recycle on that one. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, and it's broken. <laughs> After all that, look at this weird thing. It's made of lead. What do you think it might be? Well, I know from metal detecting that this is the weight out of a wooden golf club. It's probably Victorian or Edwardian, and uh, yeah, this is uh, Fife, the home of golf, so this makes lots of sense. Out of there, just fell this. And I think it's just a sauce bottle or something. That's local though, Edinburgh. Um, oh, it's Symington. I've got a few balls, square bottles there from this company. Symington's of Edinburgh. And it's uh, 18 of coffee and chicory, I think. I'm really close to the edge of the tip now. I'm only down about a foot. Um, and there's stuff coming out all the time. It's all broken though. But, uh, is that something? Maybe something. Uh, there's a bit of a plate there. Um, there is a bottle of thing beside it, but yeah, it's just uh, there's so much stuff coming out. Most of it is smashed to bits. Some of it's good, but yeah, I guess you just gotta dig through all this broken stuff to get to the goodies. And you, some really nice balls as well have been coming out. Like really, look at this. It's aqua glass, really thick. I don't know if that's a seltzer bottle or something, but we would add some detail on there as well. Yeah, lots of cool stuff, most of it broken. I've had bits of smashed cods out and everything today. Um, right, I'm going to, I'm going to dig this ball out, hopefully it's whole, actually shouldn't be moving that much. Now nah, look, see. Even that's broken. Oh, Symington's, but this is the, the earlier square version. And that is a wrap. That's all I found today. Not a great day, but I really enjoyed it. Got some exercise. A couple of bits will be coming home there. And that's why they call it ball digging and not finding loads of bottles. Thanks for watching Dirty Secrets of Scotland episode four. Look how dirty my hands are, wow. Um, now I've just got to fill in this enormous hole and then time to go home. All filled in. <laughs>